Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fishing the West. Uh, Dan, Pat, and I are on our way to um, Three Oaks. We're going to be doing some, uh, some top water. It's kind of raining right now. A few thunder, a little bit of thunder, stuff like that. Um, but I don't think there should be any lightning. Hopefully it clears up a little bit later on in the day. So we're going to be throwing some top water, some drop shot for sure. Shaky head, flick shake, anything that's finesse. It's really deep, clear water here. So, um, so I'm, uh, I'm really uh, looking forward to be fishing here. I also want to let you guys know that um, you know, shout out to my mom who fixed my hat right here. Um, it's really, really looking nice. She uh, she wove it back together. It was starting to fray at the top because his hat's like four or five years old, and uh, she just frayed it back, or she just um, thrown it back together and uh, put some glue on it. So I want to thank my mom really uh, for a lot because this hat is, is one of my favorite hats for fishing. So we'll see you guys out in the water. Stay tuned. Yeah, I just caught a small one trying to fix it out of my line. Just John told me I had one I saw it. So I set the hook and it just came off wet rigged uh, white bass pro shop sticko. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll get more. First fish today, we'll only been fishing for like five minutes literally. Hey guys, just got a nice one and a half, maybe two. Found a large mouth off a wacky rig. Really nice. Saw him hit the whole thing, saw him walked up shore. Saw him hit it. And that was a small mouth, right? And I saw another small mouth. A small mouth out there too. So, so uh, hopefully we'll catch more. Hey guys, just Probably wouldn't call, but definitely a fat fish. Not bad, just didn't have a whole lot, a lot of luck. Just uh, nose hooking the uh, the robo worm, so I just had to whack your rig on a drop shot. Just, uh, she came up and hit first fish of the day. Sun's coming out, rain stopped. Big one up at that bridge that Dan and I were trying to chase, messing with the camera a little bit. You see my rod bend right there? Yeah. That's some fish. Same rig. Caught it right off that point right there, right to the left of that point. Hey, Pat. So robo worms are pretty killer. But, uh, not the size I'm looking for. That fish fought. <laughs> Two pounder. Uh, little guy. Put back in the water. Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, just got done fishing Three Oaks. We're gonna go to uh, Veterans Acres now, do some frogging. Uh, you know, Three Oaks is mainly a finesse, like it's very deep, clear water. So we're using the drop shot, the flick shake rig, the wacky rig. Dan got his bigger one on the wacky rig uh, with like a four or five inch um, BPS uh, stick bait. Uh, he actually got one little, like midday, like 12 or something like that on a zero spook, yellow zero spook near a point. But they were really hugging the points. Uh, a few fish close to the shoreline. Pat missed a really nice one. Just Throwing the little reaper uh, right into a little pocket of, of uh, weeds and fish was right there. You saw it hit, but uh, try some new waters. Maybe catch some fish on a frog. Stay tuned. Pathways flooded, so I'm just joking around. Throw the uh, Senko right in that pathway and catch one. It's not big at all. That's not the, why we turned it on, but it's just crazy how uh, we got a fish right where the flooding is by the pathway. It's insane. I have no idea how we're gonna walk over there to get to the main lake, but uh, <clears throat> pretty awesome. There he goes. Pat just got this nice bass. What'd you catch it on? Uh, wacky uh, ribbon tail worm. Right there, he's just wacky rigging it. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Oh, this beats it, guys. Such a nice fish. Let's measure it. That's where he got it, right about there. That's a nice fish, about four pounds. Yeah. It's about 19 inches, 19 and a half. 